Hello, I'm Karen Seitz, the happiness expert, and welcome to the Happy Wife School. Today, I want to talk about a video I recently came across from Esther Perel, who is a world-renowned relationship expert and couples therapist, where she talks about the biggest reasons that a relationship fails. Quite frankly, she gets it all wrong as many relationship experts do. So I wanna pull back the curtain and show you what's really going on underneath the symptoms she talks about of why a relationship fails. Let's take a look together. I think there's a number of things in a relationship that that uh, that become the, the, the kind of uh, cornerstones of the demise, okay? And I'm not gonna list them in order, but they sure. all are part of each other. Um, Indifference and contempt and neglect and violence are probably the four most important. Okay. I'm not talking about big violence. Microaggressions are plenty. Indifference, when you start to feel like the other person fundamentally is not really caring about you anymore or you don't care about them. What they feel, what they think, who they are, what they're mm. about. You just a don't care. You've lost interest. Just, but it's more than losing of interest. Mm. It's also when you are indifferent, you degrade the other person. They're less important to you. They don't matter. Mm. And ultimately what we feel in relationships is that we matter. That is the essential reason for connecting to people is that we are creatures of meaning. Right. I matter to you. I'm someone. You care about me. You want my, you want my well-being. You're proud of me. You, you want good for me. You're benevolent. All mm -hmm. of that. When you are indifferent... All right, let's talk about this. The things that Esther Perel is talking about that cause a relationship to fail, indifference, contempt, neglect, violence, are symptoms of a much deeper problem in a relationship that we all have as humans that actually cause these symptoms. How we approach relationships in our culture is you provide these things to me, I'll provide these things to you, and then we'll take care of each other, we'll be in love, and we will be okay. That is called codependency. It is what destroys relationships and marriages because I need my husband to be somebody for me, to be something for me, to provide me these things that I do not provide myself. And as long as he provides me these things, then I'll be happy and everything is good. If he doesn't provide these things, everything is not okay. I am unhappy and our relationship is not good. It's the codependency of needing somebody else to be something for us, to make us feel like we matter, to make us feel like somebody's proud of us, to make us feel that someone's looking out for our well-being and they want what is good for us, the very things that Esther Perel mentioned in the short clip that we watched. As long as we want somebody to provide those things to us, it is the expectations that they be that for us that causes the codependency, that causes those symptoms of indifference, contempt, neglect, and violence. And those are simply symptoms of our codependency to need someone to be something for us that we are not for ourselves. How I knew there wasn't those things for myself in my marriage and any relationship before that is that I beat myself up I didn't feel good enough. I didn't value myself. I put everybody else's needs before my own. I had no idea how to be there for myself. I was incredibly needy of other people to be there for me and to provide me the very things that I wouldn't provide myself and my husband got the brunt of it. I learned that as long as I still felt bad about myself, that I beat myself up, that I didn't feel enough, that. I d wasn't proud of myself, that I didn't show up for me and put myself first. It didn't matter what my husband did to try to make me feel loved or like I mattered because I didn't matter to myself. As long as we don't matter to ourselves, it doesn't matter if our husbands go out and get the moon and the stars and everything we thought we ever wanted. If we don't feel good about ourselves and we're not doing the things to provide to ourselves the very thing that we want a partner or a husband to provide to us, 
then we don't feel loved. We don't feel like we matter because we don't have it in our relationship with ourselves. The purpose of a marriage isn't to get our needs met. It isn't to get our husbands to provide us the things that we don't provide ourselves. What I have found and what I teach other women is that the purpose of a marriage is to actually grow and learn and to be two strong, independent individuals who come together to share life and share in relationship and learn and grow together through life and through the relationship. My marriage has become where I learned to have a relationship with myself and to provide to me all the things I always wanted my husband to be for me so that I no longer need those things from him. I don't need my husband to make me feel loved or valued or heard or understood because I provide that to myself. It's only from that place that we can actually have a healthy relationship or marriage because then we don't need that from the other person so we can let go of our expectations. Our expectations are the very things that cause the symptoms of what Esther Perel is talking about, the indifference, the contempt, the neglect, the microaggression in a relationship. When I have those things in myself and I take the expectations off my husband to make me happy, then the relationship thrives because I am full and whole and complete in myself. I accept and love myself. Therefore, I can accept and love my husband and allow him to have his own journey and be his own person without needing him to be something for me. And that's where we have a healthy relationship. So again, just in summary, the biggest reason that a relationship or a marriage fails is because of codependency, needing our husband or our partner to make us feel a certain way, like Esther Pearl talks about in the clip, clip to make us feel loved, to, to make us feel like there's somebody out there that's proud of us, to feel valued, to feel appreciated. That creates a codependency where we don't have those things for ourselves. We create massive expectations of our husband or partner. That's where a marriage fails. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments what you learned from this video. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Make sure to hit the thumbs up below to like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you get notifications when I put new content out. And I will see you again very soon.